2.50 a.m. Yes, the time is 2.50 a.m. So, going on with this, Jim was going to find the people that ordered the prime rib and walked like a zombie, slow and two miles per hour, and he kept dropping limbs. And he had a sign that said, to the rave. Uh, it's a parody from a from a movie. It's actually a pretty funny one. The zombies are sitting there hitchhiking their way to a rave so they can eat the people there. And it's just like they shambling around covered in this like green slime, holding up a sign that okay. says to the rave and one that says we'll okay. eat you. Yes. All right. So got that out of your system. Night of the Living Dead Two. All Look right. it up. So. <clears throat> The gang leader, unknown, not even his gang was known. In fact, he didn't even own a gang. He was that great. He conquered that town by himself. He couldn't conquer Shallows, though. Too great. So, the guy who looks like him and actually isn't he and Super Nene were there, too. <clears throat> I would like to take this opportunity to say <laughs> once again how to describe Super Nene uh, for those who are just tuning in. Super Nene has the black robin mask, <laughs> the, the pink the blanket <laughs> cape, <laughs> and the, uh, and the, um, <laughs> Dr. Pepper lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> he puts them on right now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Did you I fart? think I took skin off your wrist. <laughs> my skin. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll wipe it on the couch. Oh, give me back my skin, mate. <laughs> no. I seriously think you farted. Nathan. No, Nathan. I didn't fart, damn it. All right, Nathan right. collects the skin. <laughs> and then he puts it in a jar <laughs> and stares at it. <laughs> <laughs> Every night before he goes to bed. Nate. I'm sure he does much more than that, Steve. All right, all right. So... <laughs> Why the hell would I collect skin? Let's keep this PG. It's very Aww, hard. Aw, do we have to? Yep. Nah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm flagging it anyway. It's all four, or in this case... That's, it's I forgot! Five, That's five. the reason we have to keep it PG, so we can plead to them, but it's just an innocent joke. <laughs> Oh crap, that's on the video. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well, either way, you can't flag this video because we have proof of why you can't flag it because you're just flagging it because you don't like it. I have several other accounts and people who owe me favors. <laughs> there you go, you just said that too. <laughs> but they don't know who those people are. Oh, but I could track are. them. I could track them. I bet I could. So if you're going to flag this video, watch your back. Don't sleep. <laughs> because I know who your friend is. <laughs> I thought like you tried to rape them. And that's the only thing I have to go by. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Um, yeah, so, crap. You made me lose the plot, Nate. Ha. You and your randomness. We just wasted two minutes on this. In shallows, uh, order the fried ribs. All right, yes. Jim came back, back to life, dead. zombie. Dropping limbs. So, <clears throat> Mr. Burgoyne's plan was supposed to be going as well. Then all of a sudden, Jim he came in. Name away again. Fuck you, Nate! <laughs> the mysterious math teacher. The mysterious gang leader. Plan was about to go into action. Jim just burst in the room. Prime Rib! He was a cyborg zombie now. Because he was still part of Optimus Prime Rib. So... What happened after that, you wonder? Uh, well, Super Nanny said, Ha, yeah, we can take them. But Super Nanny did not realize how brutal they were. They took the guy who looks like Ian but actually isn't Ian and destroyed him. Oh. Ripped him apart piece by piece and ate him. Are you trying to make this not PG or something? No, I just want some specifics. Fine. So, <clears throat> Super Nanny said, Well, that's brutal, but I can take care of it. Right, mysterious gang leader? The mysterious gang leader was in a ship right above, transported, you know, like the aliens do, um, abduction thing. But it's not abduction if he's going into his own ship. So it's unabduction. Un Woohoo. Like. Reverse abduction? Desertion? Desertion? That works. Okay. <clears throat> Strangely enough. Time is 2.55. I would like to take this opportunity to say, wait, did I already do that? 
<laughs> yes, you did. All right then. <laughs> so. Uh, I you said, wait, did I already do that? You can do that story. Yep. So, <clears throat> let me see. Continuing on with that, Super Nanny thought he could take this guy, but what he didn't realize was there was a larger sound coming from behind. What was it? Hmm. It was none other than the legendary Tyrannosaurus Prime Rib Ian Matthew. With the biggest head on the planet, he was one of the extinct dinosaurs. He but was one of the seven, um... Deadly sins. I was gonna say World Wonders, but alright, that works too. Mm, yeah, that's true. So... One of the only three visible objects seen through space. Rarely seen, but only when something impossible happened did he show up. And he just had to comment, Kids, if you ever see a gun on the ground... And no one is around. Don't touch it or pick it up. Tail an adult immediately. Especially one who has recently escaped from prison. Nate, why did you do that? <laughs> to make him sound less responsible. You're gay. No, from what I understand, you're the one who was obsessed with telling people to take it off. Actually, he was only telling you, Nathan, and you seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. No, I said I was creeped out. Screw you guys, it was a video game. I said take the power off, but you translated it to take it off. You never said the word power. No, you just said take it off, Nate. Take well, you off. know what I meant to say. Take the power off or you're going to die. <laughs> And you didn't. You never said her you're gonna die. You just kept saying That's take the what I meant to say. But I think it's much faster to say it that way. So, you know what? Just screw you. Continuing <laughs> on. Besides Ian. Okay, well, when, when you're in the classroom and you want somebody to turn the lights off, be sure to tell, yell, take it off, take it off. <laughs> we'll see what kind of reaction we get. Alright, alright. So. <laughs> uh, so. Jim apparently brought an army with him of the rest of the undead. One of the other gang leaders, you know, the Jonas Steven. guy. <laughs> Steve Jonas? The Steven one. <laughs> the Steven one. <clears throat> was also a prime rib zombie. What was his name, you ask? Jet Cole Rib. Jet Fire, whatever. I'm doing this on improv. Not very good, I know, but still. So, Super Nene decided, Oh great, you're going to make me use level 5. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good. Super Nene went up to Jim and picked him up by the throat and said straight into his face, I'm going to quote... Family Guy. No! We thought you stopped that years ago! No. I'm going to start. That was Cameron. No, it was Nathan, too. Mostly Cameron. Mostly Cameron, yes. I just mostly pointed out the ones that people didn't catch. Yes, but he's going to quote Family Guy. <clears throat> so Peter said to Quagmire, Ah! <laughs> Jim melted. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Mr. Burgoyne thought, I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> so Nathan went up to the Jonas guy and picked him up by the throat. Wait, please, no, no. That was more ridiculous than the time. No, the that, end. That, that, <laughs> that didn't happen yet. The Jonas guy tried to bargain his way out. Wait, I want to help you. I'll, uh, I'll give you, uh, more Dr. Pepper lipstick. You like that stuff? Or, uh, I'll, uh, Kirby Ultra Porn. Yeah, you know you want that. Well, I do like... No, must not be tempted. <laughs> give in to the temptation. No, no, no. He flammed all over Steven and he melted. And then he looked up. I'm coming for you, mysterious gang leader. <laughs> but he flew away. You've already called him Burgoyne five times. Shut up, Nathan. <laughs> they don't know that. Mysterious Burgoyne. <laughs> mysterious gang leader. Mysterious math teacher. So he flew off. He was never seen again. 
Time passed after that, right up to this very day. But something did happen. The guy who looks like him and actually is an Ian held Nathan's hand and sat next to him because he was still there. In fact, he's right on Nathan. I will. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Go home now.